Well, g'day, Glav here, and welcome back. If you haven't more done this already, please hit that subscribe button, and if you actually like the video, hit the like button as well. Don't forget to hit the bell button. Today we're heading up to Queen Mary Falls, which is on the Queensland New South Wales border. It's at an elevation of about 1100 metres or about 3600 feet, and I'll speak. This is just one awesome ride from Brisbane. You go across the top of the range, it's beautiful, lush and green before you actually hit the falls. And then you have Queen Mary Falls themselves, just brilliant. It's an awesome ride up to the falls, a bit of a single lane, many tight, st steep, twisty places to head to the top there. You need to be careful when you're going up because there's a lot of cages, car drivers coming back the other way and they just haven't got a friggin' clue and frankly they just don't give a damn so I would advise caution. All up this is about four hours in the saddle thereabouts and about 315 kilometres. A lot of it as I said is slow going. We're just pulling up here quickly at Peaks Crossing for a quick pit stop, you know what that means. Nothing much here at Peaks uh, Crossing, uh, there's a gas station, it's uh, nice people run it, uh, cheap gas as well if you need gas. During non-COVID times the, there's a pub here, it's okay as well, but other than that nothing much here, nothing worth stopping for. Um, on the way across the bottom, just before you start to go up the steep windy bit, you actually go through a couple of water crossings. Now you need to be careful from these because they do get a bit slippery and slimy at the bottom. Depending on how much rainfall the area's had, sometimes there's no water in them all. Today it was six inches. I've been through on the Harley up to about a foot. Wouldn't want to go much deeper than that on the big girl. Um, but there has, the water does get up as high as you wouldn't even take a proper dirt bike through them, so caution to be shown.
So we're on our way up to Queen Mary Falls. We uh, haven't quite made it to the top here, but there's a lookout here and it's just glorious and beautiful. Might throw the drone up and see what we can see. Stop for a coffee, doing our social distancing. Um, just beautiful, just take a gander at this and we're not to the top yet. The road we came up on is interesting. Much, much single lane, rough, steep, twisty, windy, slow, and I didn't manage to catch him in a tool, some young tool in a camper van just came around the wrong side of the road and tried to uh, do their best to almost take me out, but it's worth it. This road is sensational. So we're actually at Queen Mary Falls, which is about 140 kilometres from my home. Unfortunately, being a public area and give it the coronavirus thing, it's completely closed off to the public, so we can't actually get down to the falls or the lookout or so forth, which is a shame. But normally speaking, this is a beautiful spot to stop. Well, here we are at Queen Mary Falls, which is located in the McPherson Ranges. The falls are actually situated in the Main Range National Park. We're right on the New South Wales-Queensland border here, obviously staying in Queensland because you know, the borders are closed, you're not actually allowed to cross into New South Wales, but we're literally just a few metres away. Overall, Queen Mary Falls, we're about 130 k's from my home in Brisbane, about 50 k's if we went direct to Warwick from here, and it's about 10 k's down to Kalani, which is the way we'll head home. The falls themselves were created just by pure water, water running, water erosion, and cutting through the basalt. They say the falls are retreating back into the cliff as um, it wears away and they're comparing this to 19th century photos. If you want to go to some other falls from here, there's the Teviot, the Dags, the Brown and the Upper Browns. This is a really picturesque spot.
So here we are, just quickly pulled up at Emu Vale for a quick drink. And then we'll get back on our way again. Pretty country around here, although starting to dry out. That beautiful lush green after the rain we had is tending to go now, but nice spot. Well, normally I'd sign off by telling you live life today, but I guess that's a bit impossible at the moment given the current shitty circumstances. Therefore, I'd like to say to you, stay safe, friends.